Welcome back to Science Sundays and happy Mother's Day. If you're scrambling for a last minute gift idea for that mom in your life, how about making something from scratch? And better yet, let's use some science to do it. Here's our friend Kristen with a STEAM activity you can do for mom or with her today. Check it out. Okay, so we're back again today to do a STEAM activity where um, you can do something really fun and simple um, in honor of Mother's Day or that special woman that's really um, important in your life and do something really nice for them and it's really easy and simple as well. So STEAM is something that kind of incorporates lots of different aspects of science and art and engineering and math and it's a great way to show how all those disciplines are um, interrelated and use each other. So we're going to do um, a science and math activity to kind of set it up and then the art part is where you get to bring in your creativity and do something really nice for that um, mother in your life. So the way we're going to set this up, the science part, we're going to make a solution with our water and our cornstarch. And then we're going to add our color so we can have um, some color in our paints. So when we mix the cornstarch and the water together, they blend together, they mix together, they don't stay separate. So we're going to use that ability and we're going to also harness the power of the sun and use part of the water cycle to evaporate or make that water essentially disappear from where we paint it on the ground and be absorbed back as water vapor up into the air and that's going to dry it out so our paint is dry and it's not going to run and you can make a really cool design for mother's day so i've got about a half a cup of water in each of these muffin tins they're a little bit larger than a standard muffin tin so you can kind of use that's where the math comes in maybe some proportions um, if you don't have a large muffin tin you scale back your quantities a little bit they're about half full of water then we're going to take our cornstarch and this is going to be kind of the base of our, our chalk. Okay, so um, if you look at cornstarch, it is, it's, it's white, it's kind of powdery looking. So this is going to essentially be our paint. And so we're going to use the water to be able to paint it onto a sidewalk or a driveway. And then we want that to dry, that water to dry out. So all we're left with is our cornstarch and the color that we add. So they're about half full of water. And I'm going to use um, a teaspoon, it kind of depends. You can play around with this. This is the experimentation part. Do you want your colors to be pretty light and kind of pastel color? Or do you want them really thick? Okay, so if you want really thick paints, you probably want to use about the same amount of cornstarch as your water. If you want kind of thin paints like a watercolor, you're going to use a little bit less cornstarch. Okay, so I've got about four teaspoons in now and it's gonna be kind of clumpy. So you have to stir it up really well to get that water and that cornstarch to really mix all the way together. So we're gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. So you wanna add them one drop at a time. And um, if you want darker colors, you're gonna add more drops. I'm gonna make one red. We do four drops. We can see that is now combining into our cornstarch and water solution. And it's a little bit pink, so if you want like a true red, you just gotta add more drops. So maybe see what color, what colors your mom likes best. The next step is going to be to go outside and find a sidewalk or a driveway um, or a patio and we're going to do the art part of our project next um, for our STEAM activity. So we've got Drew, he's in fifth grade, and Connor, he is in second grade, and they are going to show you how our paintable sidewalk chalk works. They're going to demonstrate some designs for Mother's Day. All right guys, well thanks for um, joining us as we do the art part of our STEAM activity and we hope that this inspires you to make something really nice and special for your mom or that special woman in your life for Mother's Day and we'd love to see pictures of what you come up with. So thanks for joining us. Can you guys say bye? Bye. 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 <laughs> 
Yes, share those photos with us through my email, elena at kro.com, and head over to our website, turn to 23com forward slash science Sundays to see more of the science behind this steam activity, including a lesson plan in the evaporation process of the water cycle, as she mentioned. Plus, you can get more recipes to make fizzy sidewalk chalk fireworks and exploding chalk too. Happy Mother's Day, and we'll see you next week.